Ever felt confused by the long names on your blood pressure meds? Or wondered, why this pill? Why two pills? And what's your doctor not telling you? Welcome to our new series on blood pressure medications, where we'll break down each family of meds in simple language. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming deep dives. But first, let's uncover the big picture. In today's video, I'll walk you through the main types of blood pressure medications, why doctors choose certain ones, what side effects are often not talked about, and how to make sense of your treatment plan. Initially, let's simplify the alphabet soup of BP meds. There are five main groups, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, calcium channel blockers, diuretics, beta blockers. Here's something most patients never hear. Your doctor doesn't just pick randomly. They consider your age, ethnic background, kidney function, other conditions like diabetes, heart failure or stroke risk, and sometimes even budget or availability. Doctors sums up one or multiple factors and tailors for each patient the suitable treatment strategy. Because what goes well with one patient can be a potential harm for others. High blood pressure isn't just numbers on a screen. If left untreated, it silently damages your heart, brain, kidneys, oh, and even your eyes. That's why doctors take it seriously and often prescribe medications even if you feel fine. But unfortunately, many patients don't fully understand why they're taking or what they're taking. And sometimes, even doctors don't explain the full picture because of time limit in consultations or thinking it's too technical. So let's demystify that, together. 1. ACE inhibitors like enolapril and ramipril. What they do. Relax blood vessels by blocking a hormone that narrows them. Hidden truth can cause a persistent dry cough in 20% of patients. 2. ARBs, like losartan and valsartan, similar to ACE inhibitors but without the cough, often used when ACE isn't tolerated. Watch for kidney function changes, especially when combined with other meds. 3. Calcium channel blockers, like amlodipine. They relax and widen blood vessels by acting on the muscles inside. Side effect rarely discussed? Swollen ankles or feet. 4. Diuretics, like hydrochlorothiazide, called water pills. They help your body get rid of excess salt and water. But they may lower potassium levels and cause frequent urination. 5. Beta blockers, like atenolol and bisoprolol. Beta blockers lower blood pressure by reducing the workload of the heart, but they slow your heart rate and reduce the force of contractions. So, not ideal for everyone, especially if you have asthma or slow heart rate already. Now let's address some common misconceptions about blood pressure medication. First, if I feel fine, I don't need it. This isn't true. Blood pressure medications are preventive. Symptoms may not show until damage is done to organs like the heart or kidneys. Another misconception is, I'll stop once it's normal. It's important to understand that your blood pressure is normal because you are compliant to the medicine daily. Stopping can cause rebound hypertension, which can be dangerous. Lastly, let's address the idea that natural is safer. Natural doesn't always mean effective or safe, especially when mixing with prescription meds. It's crucial to consult with your doctor before making any changes to your medication regimen. Remember, managing your blood pressure is about protecting your overall health. Always prioritize open communication with your healthcare provider for the best outcomes. It's advised to discuss with your doctor about possible side effects, specifically when they usually start, how long they last, what alternatives exist if you experience them. For example, amlodipine ankle swelling, often improves by adjusting the dose or timing, beta blockers causing fatigue, not always permanent, your body may adjust. This video was just the beginning. In the next episodes, we'll dive deeper into each medication family, with real-life scenarios, red flags to watch for, and questions to ask your doctor. Don't miss it. Subscribe now and turn on the bell. Comment below. Which BP med are you on? And what's your biggest question about it? I might feature it in the next video. This is Quick Dose by Dr. Heba Tag. 
Simplifying Medicine, One Dose at a Time. See you in the next episode.